Welcome to MTB Cooking. Today we share a video of how to cook broccoli cheddar bites, the perfect snack for an aperitif or before dinner. You're gonna wanna use fresh broccoli. So cut it into smaller bouquets. You don't wanna necessarily use the stem for this recipe, but save it and use it for a different one, of course. In plenty of salted boiling water, you're gonna wanna cook your broccoli for three minutes. It's not a long time, but you do want them to still have some texture, uh, and that's why. After the three minutes, it's important to cool down the broccoli bouquets to really uh, ensure that they won't continue cooking. And then you can just cut them into smaller pieces. Perfect. The next step is to grate some cheddar cheese. You can use any type of cheddar cheese you want. Of course, the sharper and more tasteful it is, the, the more it will, it will be prominent in the finished result. In a large mixing bowl, add the broccoli, add finely chopped spring onion, and add the grated cheddar cheese along with a few beaten eggs. Give this all a good mix. before adding in the bready element that's gonna be panko breadcrumbs. Panko breadcrumbs are a bit more rough in the texture than normal breadcrumbs, and that's actually really a great result. It's gonna give a more airy and uh, light result uh, if you compare with those normal breadcrumbs that are more compact. For seasoning, add salt and pepper. It's important because that seasoning will be an important element, so it's all about not leaving this out. Give it all a good mix once again before forming these bite-sized oval spoonfuls of the mixture. Using your hand and the spoon as good as you can and placing them on the tray with parchment paper. The result's gonna be amazing once they cook. And you wanna bake them for 20 minutes in the oven at 390 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the result after cooking. Golden brown, crispy little mouthfuls of uh, melted cheese, cooked broccoli, and also the egg, which has helped to make them stick together. We found that it's really nice to serve them with a bit of this uh, chili sauce called shirasha. So if you want to do that, we can only recommend it. Thanks a lot for having watched MTB Cooking. Please subscribe to our channel and give the video a like and we'll see you next time. Bye.